everybody in here, sitting here in front of the Easter Eggers, watching them this morning, having my coffee with all of you, and these chickens are just getting so beautiful. I absolutely love their coloring, and they just seem like sweet, sweet chickens. I am going to put Torch in here if Torch ends up being a rooster, and I'm pretty sure Torch is a rooster, but their feathering is so beautiful. What you doing, Roxy? So let me show you what happened to those water glassed eggs because it was just way too hot in the tiny house for them. See this? I had started water glassing these eggs. These are This is the first gallon jug that I did um, back in March, but look at what's happened. Due to the heat, these eggs have exploded. Basically every egg, whoa, down in this solution has exploded. So I'm gonna take this outside and open them up so you can see what they look like. I've got another jar that I started back in May and they don't look like they've exploded yet, but I can't get the lid off. So I think that means there's just some pressure in there from the heat. So if I can get this lid off, I'll check the eggs and, and see if they're okay. <laughs> Romeo. Please take your girls away so I can do this video. Come on, dude. There's nothing in there that you want. Just a bunch of exploded eggs. You're a mighty, mighty rooster. Yeah, take them somewhere else. Go on. Go on, you guys. Roxy, seriously. Take a look at these. Look, they're totally split. Let's just take this out. No chickens. Oops. No. Crap. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know if that's safe for chickens to eat. Look at the lime solution basically cooked the eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they ate that egg that was in that solution. I hope it's not going to do anything bad to them. They won't leave me alone. They will not leave me alone, so I'm going to have to wait to show you the eggs until they all go elsewhere. Oh my gosh, you crazy chickens. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way on my lap. All of the eggs that I can see have cracks in them. So let me just kind of crack these open so you can see what the insides look like after water glass eggs have exploded. This one here had a larger crack. No, no, Miss Coco. Um, and you can see the egg is partially basically cooked by the lime solution. This one had a lesser crack in it, so the insides are still, you know, kind of like egg-like. But I need to figure out what I can do with all of these ruined eggs. Well, looky here. There's actually 25 eggs that are uncracked. So that's good. I'm going to open a few of them up, and if they're still okay, they smell okay, then I'm just going to cook up a big batch of scrambled eggs and just feed, feed it to the chickens. And the rest of the eggshells that are down in this solution, I'm going to rinse off and either put in the garden or feed back to the chickens. I think they'll be okay. They, I mean, you saw them earlier when I accidentally dropped some on the ground, and they just wanted to gobble all of it up, including their gross innards. No, Coco. Goodness, hungry chickens. So I won't be water glassing eggs again in this season because you really don't need to. Really, you just need to um, collect the eggs at the end of the height of laying season and then keep them in the water glass solution um, in a cool, dark place. And I don't have a cool, dark place except my refrigerator and it's too small. Um, during this hot weather so I just wanted to see what would happen and now I know so I will wash out that jar and I will do it again um, right before it starts getting cold so that they'll keep for a long long time all winter long so even if all of my hens stop laying I'm still gonna have eggs over winter um, but if you remember correctly last winter all of my hens laid almost every single day I had eggs every day during the winter so but I will do it again, but not in this heat. No, because you're just gonna end up wasting the eggs unless you have a cold storage area, and I don't. So, well, anyhow, let's, let's see what the chickens are doing. 
Come on, birdies, get close. So they can see how beautiful you guys have gotten. I just keep moving around to find the shade. Look at you pretty chicken. Look at their feathers. You gorgeous chicken. <laughs> Go get some grub. See if you guys can see Torch. He's getting prettier every day. I'm sure this is a rooster because look at his tail feathers. They're not pointing up. They're kind of starting to curve down. I hope I'm not just imagining things because I really want him to be a rooster. Look. He's a big leader. He leads the, the chickens away from Romeo. Yeah, I think he's a rooster. This green bean plant has totally died. Yeah, I even ripped it out of the ground. But this one, check it out. It could, looks kind of paltry. But I just noticed, I got a whole bunch of green beans on. They're kind of skinny green beans. I think the plant needs some water. But I got a bunch of green beans. What is that? I know what that is. That's going to be chicken food. I'm surprised though. Getting a few green beans. I'm going to give it to one of these chickens over here because the Easter eggers don't know how to eat bugs. But these do. Oops, I got it in the water. I wonder if somebody will get it out of the water. What about you, Raven? Come on, get it. <laughs> somebody will get it eventually. Goodness, they're all doing good back in here. And look at you, big guy. Look at his coloring. He's a barred rock with brown in him, and then he's got like the blue plumes in the back. He's a cool looking rooster. He's hell on wheels though. He is very inelegant with the ladies. I did break open those eggs and they smelled fine and they cooked up fine. Um, I'm sorry I didn't film that. I'll do that the next time when I open up the other jar. Uh, so just made up a big thing of scrambled eggs and fed them to the chickens and they love them. Just split them up between the different flocks and they love, love, love um, scrambled eggs. And those other eggs that were down in that solution that were all cracked and everything, I'm not even going to, I've got so many eggshells, I'll probably just end up putting those in the compost heap because they're just nasty, you know, just gross. So, um, not a lot else going on here today. I just keep chasing the shade, if you know what I mean. So we're going to keep this video kind of short and uh, sweet. So maybe something interesting will happen tomorrow. Some days are just kind of boring, you know. Chicken chores in the morning, chicken chores in the evening, plant chores in the morning or the evening, and I'll water them tonight. Um, but seriously, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.